Welcome! In this video we will show you how to design a 3D tunnel and station model with DPEX. Initially, we can access and edit the soil properties within a user-friendly dialog. In the Edit Borings dialog, we can define the model stratigraphy. In this example, we already created the 2D excavation model for our subway station. We can navigate through the construction stages, access and edit the parameters for the walls and supports as the project progresses. In the last construction stage, we selected to remove the second strut level and we installed a base slab. In the Analysis tab of the program, we will select to perform 2D finite element analysis. We will select to apply wall friction as a percentage of the soil friction angle for both walls, and we will set the value to 66%. We will run the finite element analysis for our 2D model. As soon as the analysis is concluded, we can see critical results in the analysis and checking summary table. On the model area, we can navigate through the stages and review several result graphs and FEM shadings. In the 3D World tab of the software, we will open the 3D model wizard and define the 3D model dimensions. The 3D model will be generated automatically for all stages. We can analyze the 3D model in DPEX using the pressures from the selected 2D models. The program will give us results in graphs and tables for all supports and whalers. In the 3D World tab of DPEX, we can select to draw a 3D tunnel on the model area. We select the tool and click to add the tunnel alignment on the model plan view. We can adjust the tunnel center elevation. In the dialog that appears, we can edit the exact point coordinates for our tunnel endpoints. We can specify the tunnel section, purpose, and installation method. On the 3D model area, we can right-click on the tunnel, select to expand it to the wall perimeter, and accept to generate the tunnel opening on the station wall. We can access the previous stage and select to deactivate the tunnel to all previous stages. Next, we can access the 3D FEM tab of DPEX and select to generate the 3D FEM model automatically. We can navigate through the stages and review the generate model from different angles. In the 3D FEM analysis options dialog, we can adjust the model dimensions limits for both directions and the model depth. We need to ensure that all of the model is included in the model area. In the same dialog, we can also adjust the level of density for the 3D FEM mesh. We select to generate the 3D FEM mesh and then perform the 3D FEM analysis. The analysis duration depends on parameters such as the model dimensions, the amount of supports and construction stages, the FEM mesh density, and more. As soon as the 3D FEM analysis is completed, the software loads a dialog with all critical stress and structural check results for each wall, support, and whaler. On the 3D FEM model, we can select to display various FEM shadings for the stresses, displacements, and settlements within the soil mass, the walls, and the supports. We can navigate through the construction stages and examine the results. The support results include the axial load shadings, support moments along the strong and weak axis, shears, displacements, and settlements. The program allows us to hide from the model area several items, including the soil mass and the water table.
Displaying the wall results also loads the result shadings for the tunnel and the stresses around the tunnel hole openings on the excavation wall. Thank you for watching this video. Visit our websites and find out how to overcome your geostructural challenges with our programs.